Hello, welcome to another Dr. Pi video. So I thought I'd look at what we've got so far. Two different types of motor, a NEMA and the 28BYJ little 5 volt motor. There we have the NEMA connected to the Pi. That's part of the camera slider project, which uh, is going to morph into the CNC project. You can see the NEMA and the coupler there. Here's the code using the Adafruit libraries. Right, so test. I thought I'd test this and just prove it all one time before I take it apart to add the second Adafruit hat, which I need to solder up. This obviously will all get uh, screwed down to some MDF or plywood, I've still not decided. I'm having to hold that down there because it's Quite, uh, there's quite a bit of vibration going on and it, the motor did want to move about. It's quite noisy isn't it? <laughs> you can see the NEMA go in one direction and then obviously the slider in the background going in the opposite direction. You can change that with uh, stepper dot backward in the Python code. Obviously the screw thread makes it move more per turn as well, so that's something to be considered. Just taking the lid off the pie case, just to let you see a bit more. So that's, that's both of them tested. What we really need to see next is three motors being controlled by the Raspberry Pi and that's uh, what this is final preparation for. I've just satisfied myself that the NEMA is a good motor and um, we'll be putting the second hat together and uh, yeah we'll have the X, the Y and the Z motors then and uh, all I'll have to do then is the easy bit which is uh, buy some board, buy some tools, build a CNC machine and uh, put it all together but uh, yeah I like a challenge I know you want to see it moving again so there we go obviously this is from a 3D printer and I'm only making a small prototype sort of desktop device the code will pretty much uh, apply though. Quite noisy. It can go it can live in the garage if it has to, but you know, I'm sure uh, I'm sure I get some earplugs if it gets too bad. The um, the stepper you see on top of the uh, the original slider that's um, that is the third motor, but the um, the leads aren't long enough on it to really connect it up at the moment anyway. So once I get the second hat, I'll extend the uh, blue, pink, orange, red, and yellow cables on it. Give it a bit more travel. I think you might have seen in the previous video where. The motor, because of the shortness of the wires, was actually dragging the pie along, and uh, nobody wants that. So, I hope this has been interesting. It just shows um, what can be done with the Adafruit hat.
I did need to correct the direction of the motors. Um, one was going one way, one was going the other way. So there's the dot backward method, which you can use with the with the uh, stepper class in the Adafruit libraries. Um, just uh, you can see on the screen there. I'm just using Nano to edit the file there. So um, yeah, you use direction equals stepper dot backward, which reverses the direction which it was previously travelling in. Here I'm just checking the sliders and you can see the second one I adjust doesn't move anything like as freely as the first. So um, yeah, not uh, over impressed with the build quality but we'll see what happens when there's some weight on it. I'm still not sure whether you use uh, some plywood for the bed or a piece of aluminium. Right, so before we wrap up, just going to um, have a look at the Adafruit hat, which I'm going to assemble, solder together, and then obviously stack on top of the um, the pie. And my original hat will stack on top of the new one because I've I'm going to have to put a stacking header onto this new one, as you can see there. That's a stacking header. That's that's taller than the standard one. One other thing I'll have to do is I'll have to just solder um, some jumpers on it to give it a different address. Uh, you can read about that on the Adafruit site. Looking forward to soldering that using my new solder station and uh, that will be a lot of fun. Got some lead free solder on its way as we speak. You can see, um, yeah, you can see it fits all together quite nicely there. 40 pins for GPIO, although it won't use many at all as it will be I2C, which only uses four if I remember correctly. There you can see A0 through to A4. One of those will need to be soldered to across to the other one those two little gold coloured contacts one will be needed sold to the other to give it a different address it's a jumper effectively so when you stack them um, the pie knows which one it's talking to so there we go um, yeah last look at this before it gets taken apart and I'll solder, it, solder the new hat together and um, be back with some progress quite soon uh, there we go little nice uh, picture of the lovely magnifying glass LED magic soldering station and there we go waiting to be soldered see you all again soon and uh, please subscribe if you could thank you bye bye Thanks Dr. Pye, that's been interesting. Can't wait to see what you make with all of it.